Like for example, could we just render in the different videos and show the comments on the different videos or kind of like compile all of them? What's a better option for this that would be more user-friendly and intuitive? Uh, I'm using uh, Next, Nest.js, and Postgres for the stack, and it's mostly TypeScript. Uh, Silent said, just to think you built this in like three months, if I'm not mistaken, is so crazy. Yeah, actually less than that, because we started working on it uh, in less times. <laughs> Max said 6.4K subscribers, holy growth, yeah, it's insane. And I think it comes from, uh, you know, just the natural mission. I mean, it's all about the community, guys. You guys know that. If you guys are watching, haven't already liked and subscribed, make sure you do so. All right, so I wanna see if we can get this to be a little bit better. Um, but also guys, we are three hours into the stream. Um, I guess two hours and 53 minutes. So I wanna still have, uh, you know, be able to stream later tonight for Vibe Academy. So let's finish this up. Thanks, multi video games. Appreciate it. Wow. So I rendered in all my videos. Wow. So look, this is the bridge mine. Show comments. I answer most of the uh, comments for bridge mine. So 500 errors, hold up. Parameter has the yeah, item. Disabled comments. What's up with that? So I can render in all my videos. So this is view creator, but bridge mine was kicking errors. Yeah, see that? What is the source of these errors? Oren, what's up? How's it going? Uh, if you can only burn 200, you're gonna get the most usage out of uh, Codex, if that's your limit. Would it be possible to include the thumbnail in the video list in the YouTube comments page? This would be so badass. <laughs> I mean, guys, like, we integrate this in like five minutes. I mean, this is insane. With Composer 1. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't I can't take it anymore. I can't. Guys, guys, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I mean. I mean, this is crazy. I can't I can't get over this. This is incredible. Wow. I mean, I can't, guys, this is insane. This is insane. Yeah, you guys, I mean, th what did that take, guys? I mean, you guys can look back. Composer 1 is absolutely insane. Um, I think that I've answered all the comments, so this only renders in like, or no, that's not true. Wait, these don't have comments on them yet, do they? Does day 69? Yeah, so day 69 does. Okay. So. Would it be possible to render in the number of comments before the user, oh shoot, I accidentally clicked on, cancel that, oh man. Would it be possible to, ah, oh, shoot. Okay, so guys, just for all of you wondering, so what we've been working on is we were working on this YouTube API integration. And I mean, I'm not kidding, in five minutes, 
we were able to integrate an insane amount of features using the YouTube API. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, Bad R123 said, uh, Composer 1 is the best so far. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. I mean, it's so fast and it's one-shotting. So, you know, I'm not like, you know, I don't see it as, you know, I don't approach it as, you know, I'm a content creator. I'm not a content creator, guys. I'm just sharing with you all my journey. And if you don't see this, if you don't see the way that this technology is headed and see what the capabilities and the trajectory of where we're going, then I don't know what else to tell you. Because, I mean, I'm just, I mean, this is insane. Uh, this is a cursor, facts, uh, facts, this is cursor. So I just used Composer 1 and in under five minutes, we integrated an analytics tool where you can see all the analytics for your YouTube channel. The, the styling here isn't good, but watch this. The styling here is terrible. Please use the actual theme and styling of the application and completely redesign it. Yeah, Silent Spectre, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, FR asks, is vibe coding good if you don't know how to code? Now, what I'll say with this, right, is you do need to have an understanding of what you're doing, but vibe coding is going to, you, you need to, you need to, you need to have an understanding. You need to learn, but you can learn as you go, which, which makes vibe coding so, like it used to be, you would have to read and understand the documentation, and then you would have to code it, right? And be all technical and like basically a genius. And now, I mean, look, I mean, like, Five seconds, a completely new styling, according to the theme. I mean, it's insane. Um, it's it's just so insane. 